This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Gotta get that last fix, man. Or fucking shoving stuff in their bum hole that they can't pull out themselves because it seemed like it was large enough to make him feel good. And I've done that with my Gucci. I'm not gonna lie. I've got all kinds of shit behind my fucking, I've done some crazy stuff. I would be asleep and my dog would be licking me down there and I just wouldn't stop it. I'd be like, okay, yeah, you can clean it up. I'm not gonna be, I'm not, I'm not fucked up about that. And I did it for maybe too many years than I should have because I was just like, it's gross down there. There's fluid. I'm not getting any sexual pleasure from it. So that was bestiality right there. But you live and learn and, and you, you get over it. People live and learn. I came from a very like simplistic family. My father was Hispanic. We did a lot of organic things, natural things. He would use alcohol, rubbing alcohol on everything, all wounds, everything, cleaning stuff. I'm not fucked up about disclosing my truths entirely to the world. I'm not. I mean, that's where people get that, that embarrassment, try to hold it in within themselves. Like, oh my God, no, God knows. The people around you know, just because you didn't disclose it doesn't mean the energy's not there. I just don't want to talk about anything. I don't want to deal with the outside world. I've already had enough trauma. I don't want to deal with it. I already am too open. And I, most people think it's hilarious because we've all been there. We've all done certain things. And to be humiliated for the rest of your life over it, to have that scar and to take it out on other people, that's not right. That's why I, I joke around about this stuff and disclose it. There was something else I was going to disclose too before I told you about my bestiality. Um, and of course, marks of the devil. Like if you don't stop that stuff and repent, of course, you're fucked up. That end of the plunger, it was metal. It was a metal uh, plastic. And I thought that would kind of feel good when, it, when I touched it inside. I'm a pervert. I mean, all people are perverts, but they just don't want to share it. They're like, well, with my fingers or with my this or that. Or, and I used to use things like, um, and I still do to like this day if I have nothing around, like I'll find like a bottle, like something in the shape of it, make sure it's washed off well. And I just stick it in there for a few minutes. It's not really a whole lot. I don't try to damage myself too much, but as long as it's like the shape of it, fuck it. We're all gross. We're all gross. What are you over there? Jack not to porn? Same concept. Um, sometimes I just like penetration. I would look up penetration porn a lot and just to see it, you know, Im imagine the times that I had it. So I was like, okay, I'm not that grotesque anymore. Years ago I was. And so a lot of people were. I'm 35 years old. I've lived through all this shit. I'm pretty sure I know. I'm just like, ugh. Some people, they don't understand. Like you can be forgiven for some shit. I held it over my head for too long. <sighs> I thought I had to be like everyone else. I don't have to be like anyone else. I have to be like myself. And when you traumatize someone to that extreme and some woman, I don't mean to be so rude, but like this woman just took away my child and she was trying to compliment me and saying that I would be a good mother, but you literally just took away my child. Do you realize that I just ripped, up, you ripped you apart in so many facets psychologically that you didn't even know? Um, like, whoa, where, what kind of twilight zone shit is this? Okay.